What it do? This is the Northeast Inner Loop grade crossing here on the Georgetown Railroad that's abandoned. This is facing south. First signal here. Both signals are really about the same, honestly, but you have a RSI base, a safe train get, gate mechanism with RSI gate uh, counterweight arms, a general signals gate guard. You have two pairs of 12 by 20 general signals frames with general signals LEDs on a general signals bracket. The gate lights here are L and W incandescent gate lights. As you can see, it still has the old cracked uh, diagonal gate on it. And the bell up top is, I am going to assume is a general signals type two due to the age of the signals. And then here is the northbound signal, which is pretty much the same as the south. Have a RSI base, safe train get, gate mechanism with RSI and counterweight arms, a general signals gate guard, two pairs of general signals 12 by 20 uh, inch frames with general signals LEDs. These also have the RSI stop gate lights. As you can see, the gate is completely peeling due to the age of how long they've been sitting here with no activity and maintenance. And the bell up top, I'm going to guess is a GS Type 2. I don't think it's a Type 1 due to the fading. It could be, but I don't think so. I think these were installed at the same time as probably a General Signals Type 2. On the right is the relay case. I'm going to pull up just a little bit so I can get this DOT number. As you can see, I'm not getting out the car because this, this highway is busy. But as you can see, the DOT number, Georgetown Railroad, the dot number is 848-952-D. There's the relay case, it's still active. The light is still on if it wants to focus. Then you have a track view facing to the west. As you can see, it's rusty, overgrown. And also a track view facing east, overgrown. The grade here is also concrete. And that is the Northeast Interloop grade crossing here in Georgetown, Texas. Now let me get off these tracks before I get pulled over.